I had bought this shower head a long time ago and just never felt the need to install it. And my shower is not getting really great pressure. And I looked online and it said it could just be that your shower head is clogged up with minerals, you know, from hard water, which I use a filter, but I don't know. I thought, you know what? This is above my pay grade, but we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna attempt to do this. I'm gonna replace my shower head. And hopefully that'll take care of the problem. The other solution would be to replace my pump, which I have an extra one. But if my pump was bad, I would assume that the pressure would be bad in all the sinks, not just my shower. So that's what leads me to believe that something's clogging up just the shower head that I have. So let's try this first. I am not a read instructions type of person. I'm more of a look at it and if it makes sense, then you can figure it out. This is like the mounting for holding the shower head. So that's, that'll have to be done another time when it's gonna be dry in there because I wanna take a shower now. So this looks like the part that would turn it off and on. Okay, so that's gonna go there. I would assume, because you want to have it close to the shower head. Okay. And then one side is going to go here, and the other side is going to attach to the connector. This seems easy. Unless there's a, any Audi, I would think that these are both the same. All right. We're doing good. <laughs> if a five-year-old can figure it out, that then I can figure it out. So let's... Let's try this. Yeah. So that would go there. I think I can do this. So this is the current one I have. And I had unscrewed it from here. So I will screw the new one. <laughs> and uh, hopefully <laughs> that works. I already figured out one thing I did wrong. Before you start screwing... It, you got to put it in the hole and then <laughs> this is this is gonna go south really quick but uh yeah you get it <laughs> you get it in the hole and then and then you screw it there we go Let me make sure it's nice and tight and that that rubber seal was on because you don't want any accidents <laughs> <laughs> All right, I better stop while I'm ahead. Okay, the one thing I don't like is like, look how much extra hose there is. Like, what am I supposed to do with that? This is the one I had for the previous head and it works for now. Like I'll replace it with the new head, but, or uh, for the head. All right. I don't know what this is called, um, but that can be replaced to hold that. And what I don't like is that this hose is way too long. Like they didn't need to do that. I don't know what to do with this extra hose. Well, I'll figure it out, but let's just hope that this works. I'm gonna turn on the shower and see. Oh my goodness, I don't know why I waited so long. This thing is amazing. Oh, it was, it was my shower head was clogged up. And wow, this is amazing. And this is actually one that saves you water. So not only do I get a lot more pressure, I'll show you, but it's gonna save me a lot of water. Look at that. I can wash my feet every night. All right. And I like that it has the button. It's super easy to push. Oh yeah, this is a game changer. What took me so long? You know what it is, is I'm always scared to do things on my own until something breaks and then I'm forced to. So, okay, that's off. That's on. I 
And to tell you the truth, I think it's going to work out that that hose has some extra length because I could take it off the holder and, you know, just, I don't have to just have it up there. I could wash, I could wash Roxy. <laughs> oh yeah, this is amazing. So I'll share what else I fixed in my RV that I highly recommend you do before it happens to you guys. So in case you want the information, it's by Oxygenics. And it says amplifying technology and oxygen infused water, pressure, pressurize your RV shower, complete RV shower up, upgrade kit, powered by Oxygenics engine. Hmm. So sounds like it's adding oxygen to increase the pressure. But I had read somewhere that it actually conserved water. I'm not sure where I read that. But I'm definitely going to read. How to install this. Mount holder. That's what it's called. So I would install the mount first. While the shower, yeah, wall mount holder. Okay. Because it takes, you know, the double sided 3M. So there's no screws. I don't think. There's a screw. The other one that I have in there. Oh, yeah, I see one right there. Hopefully, I don't have to screw any holes in, in the shower because I don't think I have a power tool for that, but we'll figure it out. I don't know what this is. Okay, so this is the plumber's tape. That's what it is. I just saw what it comes with. So I actually have to, once everything, once like tomorrow when everything's dry, I will put the plumber's tape on because I should have done that. But I was just, I was going to take a shower and I was going to use my other shower. And then I thought, no, it's such a pain because there's no pressure. And then I re remembered that I had this. That's why I took this out. I thought, let's just tackle it. I've had it for like two or three years. And so anyways, so I didn't really plan to do this. So I'm going to take a shower then tomorrow. I'll dry everything off. I'll put the I'll put the um, plumber's tape on. I know that needs to go around the ridges. Then I'll try to put the wall mount on.